One benefit of using less gasoline is that the money saved could be used on benefiting kids' education. One benefit is that the school district would be spending less money on gas, therefore they would be emitting less carbon into the atmosphere. I think this policy could help reduce carbon emissions that would potentially damage the atmosphere. A benefit would be the children's health because they wouldn't be breathing in such harmful chemicals every day. And it would not only benefit their health, but it would benefit the ozone too. Go. You may be spending less money on gas, but in turn, your engine would have a lot of damage caused to it and your battery life would be shorter, so you would be replacing them more frequently because it is very hard on your engine to have it constantly being started and stopped. The heating and cooling systems of the bus would, would stop while it was being idled, therefore causing potential discomfort for the people inside depending on the uh, temperature outside, being hot or cold. A problem with bus idling is that if you idle the buses for only short periods of time, then it would cost more gas than it would if you just left the engine on. A drawback would be having to turn off your car constantly, which would cost more gas money, but in the end it would be better for the environment. How much more gas is used when starting an engine than if it was just staying on? Go. Do you think we need further research before we start this policy? Go. It's a proven fact that you use more gas when starting up your engine than you do while it's running. So would this policy actually be more harmful or more helpful to the environment because of all the constant startups and stoppings of the engine? How do the carbon emissions of the bus exhaust affect children's health? Go. Exhaust increases pressure and air temperature because you're increasing more carbon molecules into the atmosphere. So instead of just passing this policy, shouldn't we be doing something more productive like fueling a bus on all renewable resources? Because in all honesty, the world's still going to end up running out of its resources either way with or without this policy. Go. Do you think we need further research before we start this policy? Will bus idling really make that big of a difference, and will it really be worth what we're putting the students through? How will we measure the reduction in carbon emissions based on the new bus policy?